when we think about carbon storage in forests, we often only think about the carbon stored in the trees themselves, you know, that which has been converted from CO2 through photosynthesis. But in actuality, a large amount of the carbon stored in these ecosystems exists in the organic matter that makes up the soils. This is the dead and decaying wood, branches, leaves, etc., that collect over time that are being broken down by fungi and bacteria. Yet new research from Texas A&M has shown that canopy soil, that's the soil that exists way up there in the canopy of big old growth trees, can hold up to 10 times higher concentrations of carbon than the soil uh, down here on the forest floor. So this soil exists in what is known as epiphytic mats, where different epiphytes or plants that grow in other plants have made home up in the canopy on the branches of trees and their roots collect leaf litter, debris, decaying matter, mosses, etc. to form a really dense soil comprised almost entirely of organic matter, which makes them an incredibly important resource for storing carbon that up until recently had never been considered. So just as old growth trees take centuries to grow, this canopy soil takes just as long to form. And when we log these areas, not only do we lose the carbon in those trees and that canopy soil, but all this ground soil gets exposed to elements that causes it to erode and rapidly leach up that stored carbon into the atmosphere, quickly undoing all the good that these forests have been doing for millennia.